In this video, we're gonna talk about the top five problems with wheelchair lifts and vans and offer some practical solutions to keep your wheelchair lift operating smoothly. Hi, I'm Walter, the Customer Service Manager at Move Mobility, and we're gonna discuss some of the common problems people have with wheelchair lifts in their vehicles. We understand how crucial wheelchair lifts are to your organization, so let's get into the first problem. Problem one, incorrect use activates safety features. One common problem is incorrect use of the lift can activate the safety features, and that could certainly be frustrating, but the safety features are there to protect your operators and your clients. The solution for this is to ensure that the lift's power is on and the safety catch hooks are not engaged. The power switch is located at the bottom of the pump module. If the lift doesn't unfold, check if the safety catch hooks are caught. Always stow the lift completely into the van before unfolding it again. If needed, use the manual backup pump to reset the safety features. Problem two, the lift stops moving while being raised or lowered. If the lift stops moving, it could be pressure on the inboard or outboard barriers. These barriers are safety features to prevent the lift from moving if activated. The solution is to ensure that no person or object is pressing against the barriers. Common culprits includes luggage or wheelchairs leaning on the barriers. Removing any pressure from these barriers should allow the lift to operate normally. Problem number three, the lift needs help to fold or is too slow. A common problem that we have is the lift will either not stow or will stow very, very slowly. The solution for this is to check that nothing is activating the inboard or outboard barriers. If the issue persists, you may need to tighten the manual valve or simply perform a lift pressure adjustment. For further information, please contact our customer care team. Problem four, handheld control lights are off and the unfold button does not work. If the lift control lights are not on or the unfold button doesn't work, it may just be a power issue. The solution would be to ensure that the power switch at the bottom of the pump box is set to on. A green light should indicate that the power is on. If the lights still don't illuminate, there could be an electrical issue. Problem number five, the lift is experiencing an electrical failure. In rare cases, your lift may be experiencing an electrical failure, which could disable its operation. The solution is if you expect an electrical failure to contact our customer care team for diagnosis and repair scheduling. Advanced systems in wheelchair lifts can detect electrical failures and disable the lift to prevent further issues. Make sure to contact a professional before performing any electrical repairs. If none of these solutions work for you, we have two options to consider. The first solution is to contact the vehicle manufacturer. If you purchased the vehicle from Move Mobility, contact our customer care team for further diagnosis. The second option is to consider it's time for an upgrade. If your vehicle is spending more time in the shop than on the road, it may be time to consider contacting our qualified sales staff at Move Mobility. We're here to help you get behind the wheel of a new vehicle and back to providing accessible transit for those who need it. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help.